Hello everyone, I'm going to be reviewing The Woman in the Window. It is directed by Joe Wright, produced by Scott Rudin, Eli Bush, Anthony Katkas, uh, screenplay by Tracy Litz, based on The Woman in the Window by AJ Finn, starring Amy Adams, Gary Oldman, Anthony Mackie, Fred Hanger, Wyatt Russell, Brian Tyree Henry, Jennifer uh, Jason Lee, Julian Moore, music by Danny Elfman, cinematography from Bruno Galboni, uh, edited by Valio Bologna, uh, production companies from 20th Century Fox, Fox 2000 Studios, and Scott Rudin Production, and distributed by Netflix. At released May 14th, 2021, runtime is 100 minutes, and we don't know the, um, the th kind of think the box office and the budget for this film, but I'll give you the synopsis for this, um, an acrohobic woman, I don't know, I don't know what that word is, a woman living alone in New York begins spying on her new neighbours only to witness a disturbing act of violence. Well, I can't even be bothered. <laughs> um, cast Amy Adams is Dr. Anna Fox, Gary Oldman is Alistair Russell, Anthony Mackey, is Edward or Ed Fox, uh, Fred Hinger is Ethan Russell, White Russell is David Winter, Brian Tyra Henry is uh, Detective Little, uh, Jennifer Jason Lee is Jane Russell, Julian Moore is Katie, Jane Stirles is Dr. Norrell, uh, Maria Bozeman is Olivia Fox, Liza Colin Zess is Bina, and Tracy Litt is Dr. Landy. Production. In September 2016, Fox 2000 Pictures acquired the screenwriter to the novel of the same name by AJ Finn. Uh, in March 2018, it was announced that Joe Wright will direct the film for a screenplay by Tracy Letts with Scott Rudin and Eli Bush serving as producers on the film. In April 2018, Amy Adams was set to star in July 28th. Julian Moore, Wyatt Russell, Gary Oldman and Brian Tyree Henry join the cast of the, f of the film. In August 2018, uh, Fred Hinscher and Anthony Mackie uh, has, were also joined into the cast. Principal photography began in August 6, 2018 in New York uh, City and filming wrapped on October 30, 2018. Producer Scott Rudin later hired Tony Gilroy to perform rewrites for research uh, following the film's initial delay from October uh, 4, 2019. A release. The Woman in the Window was uh, originally scheduled to uh, be a theatrical, a theatrical release on October 4th, 2019 by 20th Century Fox, but on July 20, uh, not, sorry, July 9th, 2019, it was delayed uh, with Fox new owner Walt Disney uh, Motion Pictures re-editing the film after testing screenings and a new release date on May 15th, 2020 was set. On March 17th, 2020, the film was removed from the release uh, calendar because of COVID-19 pandemic, with the intent to reschedule for later in 2020. On on August 3rd, 2020, it was announced that Netflix was in the final talks to acquire the distribution rights to the film and tw uh, from 20th Century Fox, which it did, releasing it on its streaming service on May 14th, 2021. It was the final film to be released under the Fox 2000 label as part of the Walt Disney Company's A Question of 21st Century Fox. The label was discontinued. Uh, reception. On review aggregator website, Rotten Tomatoes, 30% of not... I got it, 36%. Uh, sorry, 30% on 96 reviews and a positive with an average of 4.9 out of 10. The website's critics' concerns reads... A uh, miscoined late and muddled thriller that drowns in its freezing leak homepage. The woman in the window will have audience closing the curtains according to Metacritic, which assigned a weight average of 40 out of 100 based on 29 critics. The film received a mutual average of views. <sighs> now let's get into what I think. Um, Before I get started, I actually had no idea anything about this film. Like, nothing. Like, zero. All I know is Amy Adams was in this. That's literally it. So I watched this and I absolutely hated it. Um, 
moment. I wouldn't say I absolutely hated it, but like, it's not a good film. Um, I didn't enjoy it one bit. It was boring. And it's just, for me, it was unwritten and not a fun time watching it. I would rather watch, no, I was about to say Cats for a second, but no, I'll never watch Cats my entire life. I'd rather watch, um, bloody, uh, what is it? I would rather watch Justice League. Yeah, Justice League is way better than this film, 100%. But, and I also hate Justice League as well. I don't even know why I have it on DVD. Anyway, The Woman in the Window is just a waste of my uh, waste of time. I, well, some people um, probably enjoyed it. Like Zach Pope, he gave it a 3.5 uh, uh, out of uh, 5 stars. And Dave Lee Down Under uh, gave it a 3.5 out of 5 stars. And Brian Lomax gave it a three stars, but me and Ryan were like scored at the same. Well, can't say that yet, but because that would give away my score. But yeah, the woman in the window, just not my thing. I do not recommend this film. And yeah, for my score for the woman in the window, I'm gonna give it a one point five out of five stars. Percentage, I'm gonna give it a twenty six percent. Grade, I'm gonna give it a D. And out of ten, I'm gonna give it a two point six out of ten. Thank you, for watching, uh, thank you for listening to my review for The Woman in the Window. Stay tuned to those who wish me dead. I'm literally like nine minutes into it and I'm really uh, liking it at the moment. But yeah, thank you for watching uh, my review for The Woman in the Window. Uh, I've got Army of the, the next uh, Netflix original. It's Army of the Dead, which I cannot wait to be reviewing that. But yeah, hope you enjoyed my review for The Woman in the Window. Please subscribe to my channel, be a big help. Thanks for watching. Take care. Peace.